There is no way you talk during sex. You talk before sex. You don't talk once. Um, keep quiet. You talk until that message is very clear. Yes. Welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. I am hopeful that you are better than the last time. So, the topic I'm looking at today is committed but sexually attracted to another. Weird as it may sound, it is something that most people are going through in their relationship. Now, I am not an advocate for sex before marriage. I don't support it. Sex before marriage, I do not support it at all. But most times, you get to hear from these persons that are already married. They have had to have discussions with you. And the man goes, I am, my wife is good, she cooks, she talks very well, she's somebody I can go out with for occasion, I won't be afraid, she takes decisions before that I, even if I'm not around and I come back and get to hear about it, I'm happy, I'm, I'm not just, I'm confident that whatever I did, she handles it very well, but when it comes to do with the romance, she's too dry. So, i rather do it with another person outside. Although the person you can't, when it has to do with every other thing that my wife is, such a person is not. But I'm okay. Sexual satisfaction, or rather, satisfaction is what everybody seeks for in a lasting relationship such as marriage of course sex is made for marriage sex is meant to be enjoyed in the marriage and not outside the marriage and that is why i stated earlier on that i am not talking about those who are into it before they get married that's not my area of concern i am concerned about this institution called marriage a lot of women also go about crying deep inside them they don't get to open it up but they talk with their friends people that are close to them or whatever some don't even say it but they engage in this i am committed to this man i love him he takes care of me my children the house and everything but when it comes to my sexual satisfaction it is zero he doesn't know how to do it. The man will tell you, she'll just lie down like a log. The woman will say, he is just interested in jumping in and jumping out. He doesn't know what to do. He can't touch me. I don't feel anything. I just lie down there. Let him just do whatever he wants to do and just get out with it. And all of that, each of them keep nursing this thing and keep going out without they themselves knowing it, but of course, whenever there is something, partners that are involved know that something is actually missing. And the man said, what should I do? The lady said, what should I do? Simple. I keep hammering it. Communication is a basic key as far as relationship is concerned, as far as marriage is concerned. Amos chapter 3 verse 3. The Bible says, can two work together except they be in agreement? And the answer is what? No. The both of you made a conscious effort to agree to live together as man and wife. And there is no way you can move forward without having agreement. And this agreement comes with what? Communication. There is no way you communicate. There is no way you talk at the event of sex. You don't talk during sex. You have to talk before sex. You don't just talk once and keep quiet. You talk until the message you are trying to pass across is what? 
gotten. That is when you will say you have spoken. So for as long as relationship remains, communication is something you can throw away. It is the key factor. And most couples don't engage in communication. Yes, this is the major aspect. If communication is being done properly, there is no way we'll be having most of these issues that we could just quickly put behind us. It is just it, it just boils down to what communication. Good enough. We are in the 21st century where both the man and the woman are free to communicate. They are free to express what they feel. Unlike in the days of our parents, where your parents will have to agree for you to get married to the man, they are, your parents will have to agree for the man to marry you. And the both of you, the both of them gets into that marriage, they know little or nothing. And that is why you see the man having his own room, the woman having her own room. They only come together for sex just to procreate. But in our days now, no. Sex is a bond that God has kept in the marriage, in the marriage union, to make it solidify. And when satisfaction is not being gotten as a result of this, a lot of things goes down. The marriage becomes sick. Communication, talk talk and talk and talk you don't just talk when you need money to buy things in the house you don't talk when you 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 have to travel you don't talk when you have to start a business no you talk about everything most especially when it has to do with your personal needs in the book of genesis the bible made us understand that adam and eve were naked and they were not ashamed that naked, nakedness means opening up to each other. Adam told Eve, or tells Eve rather, the things that he loved during for uh, love making. Eve, the same. They were not ashamed. You guys are married. There is nothing to be ashamed of. Tell it to him. Tell it to her. Explore. You are in this. You're not going to end it in the next one year, two years, or three years. It is till death do you part. So why will you keep it to yourself? Now, communication is a five-line thing. Communication is in five lines. And you will say how? I'm going to explain. Line one is no word. The first line of communication is what? No word. In that part, part, you have not said anything to him. You have not said anything to her. Maybe when you say, I don't like this. What don't you like? Why in the process of lovemaking? You just say, I don't like this. You have not made any point. That is line one, no word. Then the line two will be some word. Some word. You say, I like this. You have... You have just said a word. I like this. What do you like? I like it when you kiss me. When you, you know, touch me. You tell him the areas he will touch you. You tell her the areas she will touch you. I like it when you do this. You have just been able to make what? A little point. And the third line will be, some more word. Some more word. Some more word. I like this and this. I like this and this. I like soft music. I like it early hours of the morning. I like it late at night. I like it when you take your bath. I'm talking to the, both the man and the woman now. So you don't expect me, I can't keep mentioning the man will say this, the woman. No. I like it when it is like this. I like it when you do it this way. I like it when you do this way. And the fourth line will be what? Some word. So you say, I like this and this and this. I like this and this and this. You see, you keep making more points. I don't like the missionary style. Let's explore other styles. We do it like this, we do it like this. I don't like, I like to be 
properly around before we dive into it and enjoy it better. You know those things. I like it when you whisper into my ears. Just say sweet things. I like it when you sing to me while doing it. I don't know. You know. You know how you feel. Every individual have what turns them on. And you go on. And the last line of communication is what? No word. It means you have derived satisfaction. It means that the communication, the talk you guys have been doing, every step at a time have got something to benefit. Communicate, open up. When you don't communicate, it will still keep happening. That is what will make you to be committed to your partner, but sexually, you are attracted to another. Some people, when they can't even hold themselves, they go on doing the sex with another. Whereas some people, because they are disciplined, although they are sexually attracted to some other men, some other women, they keep it in check because they know that it's an abomination to do that. But they do what they die silently. They don't get satisfaction when they do it with their partners. No, that is not healthy. That is not the plan of God for living sex to be enjoyed in marriage. Talk about it. As far as relationship is concerned, as far as marriage is concerned, there is no way, there is no way you can do without communication. Talk, 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 talk and talk. You know what works for you. You know what time it is best for you to talk. You know what medium is best to communicate with your partner. Use those mediums. And you will see, you will get him back. You will get her back. The both of you will be on the right track. And all of these things will be sorted. Your body and your soul are meant to belong to each other. And not that your body is for him, for her, but your soul belongs to another. No. At the pillars of communication, every other thing will be sorted out. If this video has blessed you, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos on issues of the heart, issues that have to do with our marriages. It is not in the hand of a woman alone to make the marriage work. That's why I quoted Amos chapter 3 verse 3. It takes two to tango. The both of you have to make it work consciously, intentionally. And the, the whole of us will derive satisfaction in our marriage, just as God has destined it to be. Remember, you don't talk during sex. You talk before sex. Make it up. Be naked and don't be ashamed. Until I see you, in my next vlog, be safe and be open. Enjoy your marriage. Enjoy bliss. See you when I see you. Bye.